Hey everyone, this is Nate, and in this video I'm going to show you how to take simple everyday photographs and turn them into images that you can easily use for your screen printing projects. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to create some vector grunge art um, that you see every day now in t-shirt designs. So I'm going to be using Inkscape. It's a free program, and I'll leave a link to the download in the description below. Alright, now that this is open, what I'll do is I'll drag and drop my image here, right into here, and I'm going to embed it. Alright, so the goal here is to turn this into a simple one color design that will be easy to print onto our transparency and then burn into our screen. So, um, I'm going to have it selected, and I'm going to come up to Path, and say Trace the Bitmap, and I'll get this dialog box. and here we're going to be looking at these three options right here. Brightness cutoff, edge detection, and color quantiz quantization. So um, I'm going to go through and show you the, the different results you get using, um, using these techniques. So we'll go ahead and select it and say OK. And it's going to give us our image right on top here. So you can see how that came out. We'll come back down here and I'll try lower. We'll say 0.25. Make sure your image is selected. Uh, 0.25, say OK. That gives us another image. And then we'll go higher than point. We'll go 0.6. See what happens. Say, I'll make sure it's selected. Say OK. And you can see that. Um, we'll come down here and try edge detection. Make sure your uh, image is selected. Say OK. You can see how that gives you a different result. Um, Let's try real low. Make sure image is selected. Say OK. And lastly, we'll try color quantization. OK. So you, you can play around with this, these different um, abilities with your image and see what comes out best. All right. So now that we're finished with that part of it, delete all this out of here. Now, what else is good about this program is that if you've got an image that is too small, when you try to scale it, you're getting a whole lot of pixelation. What you're going to be able to do is select it and, again, trace the bitmap. Go up here to brightness. We'll set it back to what it was, 0.4. Say OK. And you can see that, that gives us a much crisper outline of the image here. And then you're going to be able to um, you're going to be able to scale it without getting any more pixelation. All right. And lastly, I'm going to show you. You can also take if you've got images that are really just textures. You can come in here, and again, use the bitmap to give you these kinds of. Um, splash, um, splatters, um, drips. Anytime you got a texture, you can come in here and do this, and that is going to give you um, this kind of these kind of images you see all the time. These kind of textures that these uh, other websites are using. See these? It's kind of exploding, dripping, splashing. You'll be able to take any texture like that, and you'll be able to create those kinds of um, vector grunge art for yourself. Alright, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please hit the favorite button. Uh, please subscribe. You'll be notified anytime I have new videos available. And if you have any more questions or want to see some more tutorials, come visit me at natescreenprints.com.